Hi everyone, um, today we're going to do a little problem that comes up now and again, or well, quite often actually. Um, if you've got sink basin or bath taps like these, and they're called monoblock mixer taps, you can see them there, um, there's a common fault that happens with them all the time, and it's a very common one. If you've got this, I mean, look at this, the whole thing's loose, swiveling round. Okay, now you will get a leak eventually if you don't do it, if you don't sort it out. Okay, so this is quite sort of an urgent job really if you've got this going on with your taps. Now, I've got a video already on um, how to tighten up single taps that go through on their own. Okay, but if you've got this type of mixer tap that is all on the move, like this, it's come loose. It's very important really that you get this tightened up or sorted out. Um, now it's not an easy job, I'm showing you basin taps, but it can quite easily be um, your bath taps if you've got this mixer type, or it can be the sink taps, but this covers all three really. I've just decided to do um, the sink taps, okay, in the basin. So, what are we gonna do about this now? There's a couple of options. Um, you, you may find, when you look up underneath the basin, look up underneath, you may find a big nut. If you've got a big nut, then the answer is fairly simple. I'll show you, and you're going to need one of these to tighten it up with. Um, this is what you also need, it's called a basin spanner, if you've got single hole taps that go through because they'll have a nut on the bottom. I have got a video on how to tighten those up and how to do them, so if you want to go there, it's on my channel, okay? And again, I've showed you one that's in a basin, but it could also be in anything, really. Uh, that sounds like shadows come in the room. Hello, shadow. There she is, she's a good girl. Okay, <laughs> enough of shadow. Right, so down to the problem in your hand. Now, sometimes I say you get that big nut, but a lot of other times um, you don't get a big nut. You get you get this arrangement. And I don't know if I can show you here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and get a torch so I can shine it up there so you can see exactly what I mean. Right, okay everyone, I know I'm shooting this slightly upside down, this film, but if you can see, there's the nut you've got to tighten up. That one there, can you see it? Sometimes there is a, a, a screw on the end of that bolt. You may better get a big screwdriver on there to tighten it up sometimes. But that and that horseshoe is what holds your taps to your basin sink or bath. When that comes a little bit loose, that nut there, that's when the tap starts swiveling round. So, what I'm going to show you now is how you've got to get to tighten that nut up. If you've got a hand, if you've got someone that can help you, it's a bit easier because they can hold the taps for you while you tighten it. But first of all, I've got to show you the tool you need to do this job. And the tool you need, talking about moving the camera around, is um, this one here. Um, basically, as you can see, it's a box spanner. Okay, it's two. Um, and basically, I mean, you can buy these as a kit. They, they come from um, any good uh, plumbing store. Um, you can actually buy these on my shop, on my website, if you go there. I do have these, um, a link to these to buy them. And they're just called monoblock mixer spanners, really. And what it is, they'll fit any, any square. Because those little nuts, those long brass nuts, are basically all different sizes. <laughs> so you need all four of these. And you get a little Tommy bar there, also with it. So now I'm going to wedge the camera up now and show you how we actually use this to tighten the thing up. Right, well okay, I've, um, I've wedged the camera there, I know it's a bit sideways on, but uh, it's the only way I can get it up there because I'm using a, a pad today, unfortunately, I haven't got the, uh, the camera today, the wife took it, so I'm using the iPad to film this one. Um, I found spanners to be, this is this one. Okay, now we're going to stick this on, it is awkward to do, I'll show you how it goes. I'll get myself up there. Spanner up that nut. Yeah. Okay. Get the spanner on. Get round till it goes on. Now when it goes on in that position, it's probably going to be a bit awkward to actually do it. So I tend to get the other spanner and lock it onto that one. So then we've got two. Put spanners on. We can now turn it from down here. It's a lot easier to do. Um, it's very awkward up there. And we can now get, I can hold it with one hand, which is what I'm doing, and tighten it with this other hand. So we'll just tighten it with a Tommy bar. Okay. We'll just keep going, take it out again. Look him on in a different place because we need to get the bar in again. There we have it. So we'll get our bar in again. So it's not a dead easy job, but 
It's one of those that is so infuriating. It's just an absolute nightmare job. But, so, just a bit of time, care, and you can do it. Don't get a plumber in for this. It costs you a lot of money. And this is all you're going to do. You'll suffer this little bit, but you'll have to pay him instead. And that's not good, is it? This site's all about trying to save a bit of money, not to not spend any. So nice and tight once again. Um, back where it was when they were fitted, very good and solid. I can't, I can't move them now. They're, they're nice and tight in the basin. So there you are. Simple little job. Um, save yourself some money. Do it yourself. And uh, so I've got on the site um, on my YouTube channel single hole taps. If you want to tighten those up, I'll show you how to do them. I'll put a link up to take you there if you want to. If you've got those sort of taps. If you've got these monoblock, what we call monoblock mixer taps. That's the only way you can do them, and you will need that spanner. So again, it is available on our website, derrickand33.com. Uh, thanks very much for watching. That's about it, and uh, catch you again, guys. Thanks for watching.